That was the wrong screen. I got a little excited. Good morning. 
morning, good morning, good morning. <sighs> that scene is still labeled PC Wii U from f five years ago. <laughs> um, morning. It's Friday. Congratulations, Sailor. You made it. Oh my god. I came up to my office this morning and I didn't realize it until after like five minutes that my lights are tur were turned to 50% because of um, last night we were watching um, Alpha and Omega 1 and 2 in, um, in my Discord and so I turned down the lights in my office to make it more cinematic. And then this morning I was like, why am I so tired? Friday, the busiest work day. Typically, that's how it goes for me. Um, our customers try to get in whatever they can before the weekend. So I'm expecting, you know, some turbulence, but not too much. And as soon as it's over, we enter wedding mode. I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm like, what's the, it's like positive. It's positive angst. It's good. It's eager. Eagerness. It's a good feeling, I assure you. Why is this music like this? Perfect dark. Okay, it's almost over. Give me happy music. Please? Okay, that'll work. Nervous sighted. Wedding <laughs> wedding mode will activate and you'll be awesome. <laughs> God, I hope so. Today I have to edit my vows in the sense that I have to say them out loud with my human mouth and um, see how they sound because uh, I can't do that privately until Jim goes to work. <laughs> And then I'll write them down on a piece of paper to make it look less like I wrote it on Google Docs and printed it out slash looked at my phone. Um, even though I, I don't write with my hands a lot, so my handwriting isn't very good. But I can read it, and that's all that matters. Okay. I'm still kind of reeling from um, Alpha and Omega a little bit. I didn't realize the second one was so short. It's like 45 minutes, and it's a Christmas special, and I didn't know that. I I have the disc, or the, the box, right here. Oh, it has the approximate run times. You know what this DVD doesn't have? Subtitles. It doesn't have a menu for subtitles. Or audio anything. It just, like, you put the disc in, and it, it throws three movies up on the menu, like, on the screen. It's like, pick one. Um... Yeah, all the rest of them are 45 minutes, it looks like. Yeah, I was like... I was looking for the subtitle track. I might actually have to go get it. Like, go find it and download it and then load it when I load the movie. Which is strange, but... Um, I want people to be able to enjoy it as loosely as that's, <laughs> that's put. Because I even, I need subtitles when I watch movies because I have audio processing issues and I, it, it's hard for me to parse dialogue from background music, so. Wow, this music's really quiet now. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's, let's get started. Let me do my spiel real quick. If you're new, no subtitles movies have a very nice day in hell. Once I'm done getting through this movie collection, maybe I'll, like, set the box on fire. I don't know. You shouldn't burn plastic. That's bad for the environment. And you. Because you'll breathe in the fumes. Um. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. My name is Kat. I'm a VTuber, variety streamer, and a little fellow stuck in your computer. I use she, her, they, them pronouns. You can use them interchangeably if you'd like. This is an 18 plus stream, so if you're under the age of 18, gotta ask you to go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna talk about anything weird, but I, I can't guarantee that I won't. Because I watched Alpha and Omega yesterday. 
Um, and that movie is unabashedly horny for some reason. Um, if you like what I do in any capacity, there are a couple ways you can support me, some of which are free. You can follow the stream. You can watch. You can tell your friends. You can clip things you find funny. You can send those clips to other people. You can, um, if you follow, which I already mentioned, it's not, not usually at the beginning and I fucked up. Hi, Plasmir. Hi, hi, hi. Crap. Oh, if you follow, um, you get access to five out of my six emotes and you can use them in my chat. And if, wait, my whole shit is messed up. Hang on. I do this mentally, which is not a smart idea. Um, uh, and if you subscribe, you can use those emotes wherever you want. And you get the flubber emote, and you don't get ads. I have a Discord you can join. If you type exclamation point Discord in the chat, you get a link to that. We watch Health and Omega. And we also talk about, like, Monster Hunter and anime and stuff. And, um, I have a Twitter. You can follow that. It's the same name. <laughs> same name as it is here. And if you want to support me monetarily directly, because Twitch takes half of subs and bits, um, there's a button in my di in my description that lets you send me a dollar e do, and I'll get the whole dollar. That's pretty awesome, but you're not obligated to do it. Okay, that's everything. We're playing Voxelgram. Um, we're waking up before work. Getting it done. We're doing it. Let's go. There it is. Okay, awesome. Okay, we were doing this last puzzle in the chicken coop. And it proved to be too... Um, voluminous. I can get rid of that, though. Um... Okay, where do I want to start? Let us peel away. That's a three. That's a five. That six can't go there. It's five. Okay. Those are two. <gasps> okay, now this song is really loud. Jesus. I can't, I can't, like, be in charge of my shit all day, or <laughs> be in charge of the music all day. I like this song, though. Here with that. Do, do. All right. Let's put it all back and approach from this side. There's a six here. Wait, this is just six. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a two. Oh, fuck. There we go. Uh, that's just a five. Six. This is a three. I can't do anything with it. Uh, I can do this. And get rid of that. These. I? Oh, fuck. I can't. I can't count. Six and five look like the same thing to me. Wasn't it like some sort of like evolutionary tool for counting children or, or litter mates that animals can only naturally count to five without, like, learning how to count. Or 
or something like that. We were talking about this like forever ago. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm going back to bed. Have a lovely rest of your stream. Oh my gosh, get some rest, Janie. I hope you have a lovely sleep. I wish that was me. Or a good morning sleep. I probably keep things a little too low key to not conk out in the middle of the time. Okay, that three isn't actually part of this. So here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Alright, that's that this chunk. Oh wait, shit. Good morning has been associated with dumb people. Oh, GM. <laughs> I thought you meant just the phrase good morning, and I'm like, has it? I've been saying it since 2007, and I can't stop. I associate good morning with Uncle Grandpa. No, I don't. I have a weird soft spot for Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong. He just said good morning. Do you mean that you like associate GM with like dungeon masters? I don't think that's what you mean. <laughs> GM is a crypto bro thing? Ah, oh, fuck. That sucks. I didn't know that. I was better off not knowing that. <laughs> I'm gonna know. I don't really abbreviate when I type, so maybe I'll be okay. I used to though. Um, there was a book series I read as a kid called it was TTYL, and it was basically formatted entirely in AOL Instant Messenger. Fuck! Why do I did I do that? And so I learned, quote, learned a lot of speech patterns from it. I used to not abbreviate, but I can't type enough normally for how fast I think. Honestly, like, freeing myself from most grammatical structure for typing has changed my life for the better, I think. Like, obviously writing an email is going to be different, but I, like, in- and obviously it has to do with formality, right? Like, if I'm talking to somebody I don't know, that's going to be different, but I- I can't justify using- like, capitalization in text anymore. Language evolves. Language changes. I think there's something fascinating to say about, or to say for, the type of internet shorthand that has come about in recent years. Or 
how we like how we derive intent behind um punctuation these days like if somebody is t typing to me and they end a sentence with a period i think they're mad at me how does that work <laughs> or the phenomenon of adding a bunch of semicolons or commas after something to make it sound like you're nervous or antsy. Like we've developed this really interesting way of using written language. Tone indicators are your friend. Yes, 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 that's a whole other thing. Like, I think it makes us a lot clearer with each other. But then, you know, like, there's the the trick to getting people to use that stuff. A rooster! Wow, look at him. He's beautiful. Look at- look at all these chickens! They're beautiful. I got bucket. I got xylophone. I got feeder. I got fox. Who's here to kill all my chickens? And he's just here to play. I bet this is gonna be ketchup. Watch. It's gonna be ketchup. These. Apple! What the fuck? I thought it was a picnic, not a fucking health food seminar. <laughs> I thought it'd be ketchup. What's this gonna fucking be? Banana? Apple is good picnic food. Yeah, you're right. It's portable. It's portable. It's fruit. I'm just sour. <laughs> I'm just mad that it wasn't ketchup. Because it looked like a squirt bottle. A perfectly rectangular squirt bottle. This is a glass with a straw. You brought, gla you brought glassware to your fucking picnic? You bring solo cups, as is tradition? As long as there's more than fruit. Yeah, we got drink. Apple juice. <laughs> oh. Sip time. That's a five. This is number identification stream. One of my favorite memes from- why the fuck did I do that? One of my favorite <laughs> memes from when I was young is this picture of a guy, like, looking at a plank of wood with a microscope. Or, no, one of those jeweler's glasses. But you know what I mean? The ones that you put up to your eye. And it was, like, wood identification. Like, it was, like, a magazine cover. It was, like, wood identification monthly. And it said, yep, that's wood. Get rid of those. And, uh... It looks like I got rid of everything. 
I was supposed to. Oh, wait. Oh, I got... <laughs> There's this whole chunk that I forgot to do. Orange juice. We just brought fucking juice. And apple. This picnic is kind of lame. So four. Two. That. That. And get rid of those. Lots of acid and juice. Juice is yummy. You're right. God. Jem, do you remember when your sister bought, like, when we bought, like, a big thing of apple juice and your sister went through it in, like, two days? This is a different sister than the egg sister. Jem has three sisters. I want cranberry juice so bad. I oh, fuck, me too. That's always like my brunch juice of choice. Like, if they're like, we have apple juice and we have tomato juice, which is gross, and we have. And they tell you that too, they warn you. They're like, don't have the tomato juice. Um, I go for the cranberry juice, even though it's mostly sugar. We can't, as human beings, we can't handle unleaded 100% cranberry juice. We have to water that shit down. <laughs> Tomato juice is my fucking state beverage. It's insane anyway. What the hell? Is there like a patriotic display in front of the V8 aisle? Also, you're just weak. I'll take- I mean, I want to taste it. I want to try it. I'm not weak. I just haven't ever seen it sold anywhere. <laughs> I'm not weak. I'm tough. I'm so brawny. <laughs> And- and manly. That's a yum yum yum. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh... It's gotta be that, huh? This looks like it's gonna be a sandwich. That's my prediction. It's good, it's just very acidic. I like it when a, like, a beverage feels like it's gonna turn me inside out. <laughs> Which is A plus for me, I love food that hates my mouth. <laughs> Pineapple fan. Oh my god, one time I ate, um, I had a cold. I was in college, and I had a cold, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna eat a bunch of, like, fruit. And... You are what you eat. No, um, <laughs> I got a pineapple ring, or ringed pineapple in a Tupperware, like, from the store, and it was just a pineapple that was cored, and I ate it, like, with a fork, just ripping into it, and because it was fresh, I forgot that pineapple has an enzyme in it that, um, breaks down protein. So, like, some ways into it, I was like, why does my tongue hurt? It's because it was dissolving my tongue. Not, like, not, like, visually noticeably. Like, it's not, like, some horror story or anything, but <laughs> it was breaking down my tongue. It digests you, but it tastes so good. I know. I love pineapple. I like pineapple on pizza. I'm not ashamed of it. There's so many times I've had numb mouth because of pineapple. I live my truth every day. I love pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on 
pizza is like only really achievable with certain like pizza makeups. Hawaiian pizza especially is good. If it was just pineapple, it wouldn't be though. Like, does that make sense? It has to be with the ham. And sometimes bacon, but I'm not a huge bacon fan. Bacon to me is like a meat condiment. <laughs> like, I feel like bacon is not an appropriate substitute for um, other breakfast meats. I feel like a bacon breakfast sandwich shouldn't cost the same as a sausage breakfast sandwich. Because there is arguably less meat on the bacon, the bacon sandwich. Pineapple and pizza enjoyers. Fuck yeah. It's so tangy. It's like putting barbecue sauce on pizza. Fuck. If you did Hawaiian and instead of <laughs> instead of um red sauce, you did uh barbecue sauce. Does it stop being pizza then? Like if we just change all of the elements, we essentially make a like a flatbread. Barbecue chicken pineapple pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna ship of Theseus this pizza. Also, that has to go like that. And then this. I have to put that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. Is that? I can do that. And then... I can do this. And then that. Oh, this is Pokemon Stadium. God, that sounds so good. Actually, I'm making myself hungry. Go get um some breakfast. Breakfast foods I love in theory, but I don't want to put food in my mouth. We were talking about this yesterday. Oh, I can do that. And that. Can't do anything with that. I have to keep, like, turning it and then, like, reassessing. I think I can do it. sandwich anymore. Alright, I'm gonna guess there. That didn't really change anything for me. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, oops. Seven. I'm going to do that. We gotta get out of picnic land before we keep talking about food and making ourselves hungry. Maybe not because of this too. Oh no, this is a six. Oh, connect those. Okay, so I can do that. Wait, I don't know why I did that. The whole bread? I guess. Like, you can make the sandwiches on site, I suppose, to keep them from getting yucky and soggy. But, I don't know, that seems like a lot. Seven, that's a two. not reading again. It's three. Oops. Oh, well, yeah, that was right anyway. Oh, leave, leave. Summer hat. Sure. You need that for a picnic. I can't eat it though. I could try. Sevens. 
I think there was only that one. Really? I thought there were more. Okay. Wait. Okay, yeah. That. There. Go there. That. Up. Up. That. Love clapping. Clapping song. Oh, just those. Just like the same thing over and over again, if I'm being honest. Isn't that just life? Hold that for me, yeah. my picnic book and glasses. Well, we're cruising. <clears throat> my leisure. Pages. Ew! I hope it wasn't a library book. For leisure. It's okay, I knew it. It's my reading book. For reading.
Okay, and we attack from this side. Just five. Since this is a two, I can do that. No, it's two. What is this? Uh, I see we've entered a new playlist. <laughs> like, this isn't Nintendo mu or N64 music. But that's okay. This is fine. Same vibes. Let's go back this way. That's done as much as I Okay. And then we, we just keep rotating. We rotate the cube in our mind. I don't even know what this is going to be to be completely honest with you. This is starting to look like some kind of shape or object. Hi, Bomber. It is. I'm still not quite sure what it is. We're in the picnic section. The diorama. Oh, that. Watermelon! Yeah, I would have guessed that, definitely. <laughs> 
I don't like watermelon very much. But I... Whoa! Holy shit! Um, I think I've just had bad watermelons my entire life. They just always kind of tasted like nothing to me. Go across. That. That's six. You just had bad watermelons, 100%. Oh. That's a bummer. So what this means is above... Yeah, anywhere there's a one on the top, I can just start shaving it off. Recommending watermelon in the same way an Italian might claim you haven't had real pizza until you've gone to this extremely specific restaurant. <laughs> no, because like, I feel like everyone loves watermelon and I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Why do you enjoy this nothing fruit? And it turns out I'm wrong. My mom used to freeze watermelon. She'd put a stick in it <laughs> and freeze it and like cut it into shapes, funny shapes. <laughs> shapes that one might consider amusing. Um, now it, then it'd just be cold and taste like nothing. If you're gonna freeze something, you need to enhance the flavor. That's just how freezing things works, because your your little baby tongue, um, is deadened to sensation when it is frozen. When when you are eating something cold, you two three four five six, you can't feel as good. this is. It's kind of neat. Oh, this is less than four so I can get rid of it. <laughs> Does this fit anything? Peel it down so I can do that. Peels your watermelon. How do you recommend watermelon to someone? <laughs> Have you ever had watermelon? Okay, the alarm went off, but this seems pretty straightforward, I think. I think we can get this before I gotta go. I can just pair off. Pair in the P A R E sense. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, I just did that. What the fuck? Okay, four isn't there. Those are fine.
think there's a few indicators and one of them is that it's supposed to make a deep sound if you thump on it. I like anything that does that. Watermelon recommendation. It gets sweeter as it ripens, so you might want to slightly overripe. Did I do something wrong? What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Mario. Oh, wait, here we go. Cake! Woo! It's beautiful. Okay, that's it for me this week. Um, I've made this announcement before, but this month's uh, Tales from the Computer Cabinet is getting pushed to next weekend because I'm going to be busy this weekend. Um, but I can tell you what we're going to do. Um, Gem and I are going to be playing Madeline games. Uh, you know, based on, you know, the little French orphan girl. <laughs> um, I had a, an act, like, a two-disc collection of Madeline games growing up, so that's what we're going to do. Gem is worldly, so, she, so they're going to, um, help me through it. Um, and then I'm off Monday, like I'm off from work, so I'm not going to be, and I won't physically be here, so I won't be able to do a puzzle then, but I'll see you next week. I hope you all have a great time. Um, I probably won't be very active in the Discord this weekend. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Hee <laughs> hee.